Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading for the end of April. We're going to see what is going on for you guys in love. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest. It just won't resonate with every Virgo out there. Um, if this is your reading, please show me some love, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, I am available. You can check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head right over to my Etsy shop and purchase a reading there. I have Oracle decks and spiritual jewelry, so check it out if you're interested. All right, Your bonus video um, reading for the end of April, April 20th to the 30th, is up on Vimeo, okay? And that's how does your person feel, what's on their mind, feelings, heart space, what are they not telling you? How do they want to move forward? And what's going on behind the scenes? Okay, so check it out. All right, let's jump right into the reading. Let's get, ooh, let's get some shuffles in here. We get like two more good shuffles. For Virgo. If it resonates, y'all know what to do. Leave me a comment and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload, all right? All right, what is the current energy surrounding Virgos? What is the current energy surrounding Virgos right now? What do they need to know? What's going on? Ooh, the sun. Okay, Virgo. There's something that is going to make you happy. Some of you guys are just very optimistic about your love life, all right? This is healing. This is harmony. This is bliss. This is peace. I mean, I love it. The challenge to that is the Seven of Cups and um, the High Priestess, okay? So what I'm seeing is that there's someone here, Virgo, that you see yourself being happy with. Okay, it could be a Leo, it could be a Pisces, but I feel like you're you're getting become, you're becoming more clear. You're getting clear on how you feel about this person, right? I'm getting the more you hang around this person, you know, you're seeing something the way it truly, you know, is. You see, you see yourself perhaps falling in love with someone. You feel like they make you happy, but I feel like this is someone here who perhaps has not said it very. Um, has not been upfront with you about their feelings for you, okay? This is someone who could be very secretive, okay? The high priestess, they're very mysterious, okay? Maybe you told this person your feelings, but they didn't say, they didn't tell you how they really felt back because this is someone who's a little bit confused. They're confused about their feelings for you, all right? Um, let's see. Maybe this person has options and that's why they're confused. What happened in the past? In the past, we got the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands in verse. Yeah, I'm seeing whoever this person is, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fun. I'm getting that Page of Wands. This is someone who hits you up. I mean, they enjoy being around you. Virgo, I'm getting like there could be a lot of flirtatious energy. Um, fun times. I think that you guys get along really good as well. Three of Pentacles. It's like you guys understand each other. You have great conversation. However, I'm seeing that someone was very indecisive. Someone was um, not sure on the path they wanted to go with you. Um, so there could have been a decision that was made regarding moving forward with this person, Virgo. This could have been you making a decision or your person making a decision. Um, some of you guys, you felt this person could have been dealing with other people. They kept their options open. It could have been a third party here with Three of Pentacles. And it could have caused divisions in this connection. So let's see. What is on your mind? Ooh. Knight of Wands came out in the verse of the Ten of Wands. But let's just jump out. Um, Virgo, I get the sense that this person has not... They have not really shown you the interest that you're looking for. That Knight of Wands in verse is someone who comes in. They're excited to see you. They're flirty. They're, you know, they're passionate. But then you don't hear from them for like a couple days later. You don't hear from them for like a week later. That energy is very wishy-washy. It's in and out. It's on and off. It's, it's that player energy, okay? So some of you guys, not that they're a player, but you're dealing with someone who isn't really ready to just move things forward and be in a serious relationship. They 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 lack stability or they're not they're not looking for something serious, they're not looking to settle down or they could be some kind of burden regarding that. The 10 of wands, some of you guys are getting tired of it. I'm getting like you're just where is this going, right? You've been on this journey, maybe you guys have been dating for some time. It's been serious and you're kind of like I want to move things forward and it's almost like this person is keeping you stuck with that 10 of wands energy. They're holding things back or you may have felt like they're keeping things from you. High Priestess. 
In the foundation, Virgo, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords. So I do feel some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The thing is, is that this person, they look at you as someone that you bring a lot to the table, right, Virgo? You're the Queen of Pentacles. You bring stability. You're reliable. You're grounded. You're wholesome. You know, you're in, you're very independent. You're business minded. You're focused. You're all those things. But it's as if this person, they see that, but it's like they don't want to, they don't want to come together and make something like they don't want to be a power couple i'm getting like they're not wanting to move forward with you for whatever reason i'm getting like this is someone who's non-committal they're not giving you the commitment that you're looking for okay and that could have been it could have been some communication that came out about that let's see any other messages here in the foundation what's going on oh there could be another person involved um there's definitely, I, I'm getting this person's passionate about you, but for whatever reason, they're not coming to you with stability. There's, they're in conflict about something. And it, it's causing them to hold back the way they really care and feel for you. Okay, the Knight of Cups in verse. It's like they're not ready to pursue this relationship, a romantic relationship. They're like in their head about it. This is someone who may be overthinking and their overthinking is is taking away from this ability, the ability for this connection to really grow and come together. I mean, it could be really beautiful, but I'm getting your person's holding back. And it's not to say that they don't have feelings for you. We got the Knight of Cups, but they may be in a place where they can't love you the way they you deserve to be loved because they know you deserve it. You're the Queen of Pentacles, right? So let's see what comes in, Virgo, and their person. The Eight of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. See, the thing is about this person is that you're everything that they wish and dream of. The Nine of Cups, you know, you fulfill them. You you do make them happy. They're around you and they, they're they smiling all night. You know, they're smiling in your presence. They You make them laugh. I mean, it's really good times, but your person is overthinking something. The Eight of Swords are keeping themselves stuck and tied and trapped and restricted. And this is not allowing the connection to really grow. And I get, I'm get, i getting your person's all up in their head. Okay. And I'm seeing that they're very much watching you. They're very interested. The Page of Swords is someone who is like spying on you. They're watching you from a distance. Checking your social media, your Facebook posts, your Twitter feeds, right? Your stories. They're interested. But when it comes to like securing the connections, uh, sealing the deal, is this person isn't ready. But you're everything that they desire. How crazy is that, right? So let's see. Um, let's get some messages for you guys, Virgo. Additional messages. If this is your reading, y'all know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Virgo and their person. Okay, let's see what the current energy is. I mean, the sun, maybe your person hasn't gotten the clarity yet on, on who you are, on what, what you mean to them, because this is someone who's still very confused. They don't know left from right. The sun came out again, Leo energy. See, someone has to make a decision. It's like, time is up. What are we doing, right? If I make you happy, what's the problem? The judgment card is here. The judgment is about finality, making a decision. It could be reconciliation. It could be coming together as a relationship. It could be committing. It could be married. It could be anything. The judgment, someone has to make a decision. And I feel a lot of you guys, they've been pulling back or they've been trying to buy time. Okay? The high priestess is telling me that they're, they're very, they're just very mysterious. Why is the high priestess here? Why are they... It's almost as if they're keeping something from you. Yeah, there's something that they're holding back. It's like they're delaying the process of making this decision for whatever reason. It's like, I don't want to. I don't want to make the decision. But it's like, we have to. I mean, where, where are we going? What are we doing? In the past, what happened? Yeah, I'm getting, you know, this is someone here who, first off, they certainly could be playing around in the sense that they keep, you know, pass people around in their environment. They they keep in touch with people that they've moved on from, but they haven't really quite moved on from. You know what I'm saying? Like exes could be like their friends. And so the problem is, is that the reason why they're so wishy-washy, Seven of Cups, is that some of you guys, they keep people from their past 
very close to them. They may keep the number in their phone. Therefore, when this person wants to come back in their life, it's like the door is wide open. So that is the problem for some of you guys. You're dealing with someone with this Knight of Wands in reverse energy. This is someone who, like, they go, they're in and out of everybody's lives, right? And so the thing is that they have no boundaries or, you know, they just, they're careless. They just do whatever they want, whenever they want, they're single, you know, and that's the energy I'm seeing. And I don't think you guys like it at all. The six of cups came out in reverse. I don't think you guys like it, but you do care about this person. But at the same time, it's brought a lot of conflict. Five of swords. It's, it's made you feel defeated. It made you feel like maybe you're not important to them, right? Like, how do I measure up to these other people that you're dealing with? So there's definitely a decision that has to be made because you guys are very confused as to where you stand with regard to other people that are in this this person's life. And the Page of Wands is like, you know, you want more. You want more than just fun and excitement, right? So on your mind, Virgo, we have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, this is what you want. Some of you guys are connecting with the Leo. You're being strong. You're being strong through this. And you're staying true to what you want, what you desire, and you want to be in this king of pen a queen of pentacles. It doesn't matter, king, queen. You know, we all have masculine and feminine energies. You want to be married. You want to settle down. You want to have a commitment. You want to have someone in your life that you can be loyal to and true to and faithful to and move forward and build a beautiful, abundant life. Children, all that stuff, right? That's what's on your mind. That's what you want. That's what you're striving for. And this person, they don't see, they don't see that. And it's not that they don't see that with you. It's just that they don't see it in period. That's not what they want. But the thing is, is that, see, there's something about them offering you love that they're in conflict about. Some of you guys, it could be other people meddling or swaying them in a different direction to where they, they push you away or they reject you with the four of cups. Because I'm almost seeing that your person wants to come take action towards you. They want to pursue you in love. And then all of a sudden, there's just conflict. Right, the five of wands. All of a sudden, there's challenges. All of a sudden, there's roadblocks. All of a sudden, there's setbacks. And I'm, I'm thinking it's because some of you guys they listen to other people and then they push you away. But they get in their head too much. This is someone who, you know, they overthink things too much and it stops them from being able to offer love. Okay, for them to pursue a, a real connection. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting your person. They need to figure things out. Because this is a toxic way of thinking. The devil came out in a verse. Toxic way of thinking. Your person's energy. Right? They need to figure out what they want. They need to make decisions for themselves. Um, the devil could be family meddling. It could be karmic. It could be addictions. It could be a mindset that needs to be let go and released. Okay? But I think they're pushing you away. They're, they've been pushing you away and rejecting your offers. Or, you know, your advancements toward them. So let's see what comes in. You know, we got the eight of swords, we got the five of swords. Your person's just, a, there's a lot of heavy mental energy and just thinking, thinking, thinking. That just isn't good. Now, we got the temperance coming out for you guys, coming into the moment. And some of you guys are done with the Sagittarius, but there's something about patience, right? Temperance is patience, moderation, right? It may not happen right away. It may take time. Divine timing may be at play here. So some of you guys, I'm, think, I'm thinking your person, they may not be ready now, but doesn't mean they're never going to be ready. It's just right now with this eight of swords, mm -mm, you can't make a decision with the blindfold on, right? And your person may be feeling as if they're being pressured or making a decision with the blindfold on. So you may have to give this person a chance um, or, uh, you know, give them some time to get out of that eight of swords energy because it's telling me that they're still yeah look at that it's coming see your person is going to come with the ace of pentacles virgo but it's not coming right away when you want it something is going to happen in divine timing but they need to get out of that eight of swords energy they're very much still interested in you got the page of swords they're very much interested in you but the thing is is that there's something about waiting, okay? Waiting for the right time for this Ace of Pentacles. They're going to bring you this. This is solid commitment. There's an offer being handed to you, Virgo, coming into the near future. But a lot of you guys, it's not coming right away. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Look at that. The star coming together, Aquarian energy. This is about healing. This is hope. This is about being optimistic, Right? Didn't we start the reading saying the sun is something that's going to make you happy? You may not see it right away, but we got the sun coming out twice in the current moment. So a lot of you guys, you may not have experienced this yet because something's coming in and it's going to make you hella happy. 
right? Hella happy. And that that's what's ha making you happy. We got a, a big, strong offer. We got a commitment. We got coming together. We got, you know, something you've been wishing for, praying for, manifesting, Virgo. This is something that's going to make you feel very secure, very content, right? And this is something stable, beautiful, beautiful love reading. I'm loving this energy. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to get into the Ask the Universe question. So think of three questions you want to ask the universe. I'm going to pull up my deck. This is the Ask the Universe. You've seen this before, right? It's on my um, Etsy shop. There's no knowledge, I mean, no tarot knowledge needed. All you got to do is ask your question and you get your answer. So let's jump right in. Let's get three. Um, it can relate to the situation. It can relate to your work life, you know, your family, anything. All right, Virgo, what is the first question you want to ask? Okay, let's get right in the middle. I've been trying to pull in the middle. Not set in stone, okay? So whatever you're asking is not quite set in stone yet. Now, it doesn't mean it's a no. It just means that it's not written in stone just yet. So be optimistic, right? The sun card coming out, the star. Be optimistic. There's something that you guys should be optimistic about. All right, let's see. Uh, your second question, Virgo. Hard to read, okay? So that's a little bit difficult to read. Ooh. Um, but it says you will soon find out. Okay. You will soon find out. And it says look to your ancestors for answers. So that was like a three answer uh, to that question. Three answers to that second questionnaire. Hard to read, but you will soon find out and look to your answers for uh, look to your ancestors for answers. All right. What is your third question, Virgo? Get out of your head, okay? I almost feel like this is your person. Get out of their damn head, right? All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you guys. Um, if it resonates, like, share, comment, subscribe. Your extended bonus reading, How Does Your Person Feel, for April 20th to the 30th is up on Vimeo. So check it out if you're interested. All right, you guys, take care.